From the mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. This is an open source microphone. You've heard of open source software, right? This is the ORS87 open source microphone project over at groupdiy.com. And I built this with about $100 in parts. And it sounds like this. Not bad, right? So what is an open source microphone? Well, basically, the entire project has been laid out at groupdiy.com in a thread that gives you the schematic, the bill of materials, all the components you'll need to build it, and um, the layout of the circuit board. Not bad, right? And you can go and you can take that circuit and build it yourself. And you can alter stuff, come and ask questions on the thread, add to the knowledge base, tell us about your experiments. Pretty cool, right? So it's open to anybody. But dare I say, if you are a DIY microphone virgin, if you have never built a microphone before, this project is not for you. This is for someone who's had at least a couple of mic builds under their belt. Let me show you. This is a circuit built point to point on proto board. All right, there you go. Here's the back. All right, this one looks like a little sloppy there, but it works. And hanging off the end there, transformer. I like this one, the 3U Audio GZT87. It's got a nice little bit of coloration to it. Sounds good. XLR jack. But this is the guts right here, right? This, a body, and a capsule is all you need to get this. It sounds easier than it is, but it's not that difficult if you are experienced. Overall, I think it's a great project. And when I say stripped down U87, it really is a stripped down U87. It's basically the U87 vintage circuit, All right? which has fallen out of patent, by the way. So it's not an infringement. The basic U87i circuit without the pad, without the filter, and without the pattern switch. Because I only use cardioid, I never use the pad, and I never use, basically, the low cut. So, this is straight through the circuit. Capsule right to the transformer. No frills. No excuses. And what you're getting is the essence of what the 87 does. But you can really kind of customize this to however you feel fit what's really cool and this to me is i think this is like one of the best features of this and one of the best reasons to build it is you can contour the low and high end depending upon which capacitor value you choose for each part there's one capacitor for the base there's more than one but essentially there's one that contours the base and one that contours the treble and you can vary those for whatever, for, for you. And so it's, it's fun to experiment with that. And a lot of times you, you need to tune, tune the circuit to the capsule because this, like I said, this is $100 in parts. Cheap trash capsule. Um, the body, this body, right? It looks like a little U87. It's got the head basket. It's got the nice contour cut in there, right? That chisel cut. It's actually about the size of a U89. But not bad. Um, 30 bucks on AliExpress. Uh, there was like a cheapy microphone in there. But you got to get the metal body one, not the uh, plastic body one that's floating around. So you got the body, and you get this. And um, the transformer in here, right? The transformer. This is like the $13 Nutrick NTE-10-3 transformer. And it sounds pretty good for this. It's got a little bit of coloration, which I like on this. I really like it on this. You can get, you can, again, and you can use whatever you want or whatever you have to build it and uh, see what happens. But I'll tell you, for a hundred bucks in parts, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty impressed. So go check it out. If you are inclined to build a microphone and you've built all the kits and you built all the other DIY projects and you're looking for something that you can really tinker with. Something that you can build. Like, the way I look at it, right? I mean, I got, I got a few of these laying around. That's why it says a two on the back. 
because I'm I'm just enjoying building different ones with different different materials in it to see what happens, to see how it sounds. It's a fun project. And you get something pretty cool. The ORS 87. The One Room Studios 87 open source microphone project. It was named in tribute of user One Room Studio, who um who actually uh it was the first person to, to post this, this, uh, the layout and the circuit and really just altered the course of my life. <laughs> so the ORS 87, go check it out. GroupDIY.com. There will be a link in the description, but of course you can just go to GroupDIY.com and search for open source microphone, or you could probably just Google open source ORS 87 and find it. Check it out. All right, until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov, Fading to Black.